Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how I got this look, how I got this hair, um, the specs of the hair, where the hair came from, um, and all of that. But yeah, if you want to see how I got this look, then please keep on watching. Um, do not forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so you are notified whenever I post and leave all your comments down below. But without further ado, let's just jump right into this video. That again. Stop. Show your little body, 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 so this video will be sponsored by Papaya Hair. They sent me their three bundles of 18 inches, 18 inches, and the front row was provided by myself from Hair Sensation. Um, and I made this into a wig. So starting out, I will be toning the hair, and I'll be using the T18 Wella Charm Toner. Um, this is what I'll be using, and I use two box, two boxes of it. Um, and I pretty much just did the watercolor method with it where I just um, did the mixture, put it inside the water, um, mixed it around and dipped the hair inside the water. And that's how I got the grayish, whitish, silverish um, look from the yellow tone type of 613 because I didn't want that. I wanted it to be toned. So that's what I did. So after toning the hair, this is the color that it came out um, the next day, so it's all dried. And I am just going in with a box dye and I am dyeing the roots. And the dye that I use to dye the roots is called Texture and Tones 6G Light Golden Brown. So that's what I use for the roots. And I went in with some foil paper because I did not want the root color to go on the rest of the hair. I did go a little bit um, too far down on the first strands. However, um, I ended up cutting off that strand when I was sizing the wig on my head. So it worked out fine. Um, but it was after I realized like, oh my gosh, I went um, a little bit too far down. But you want to do maybe an inch from the root because you don't really want it to go all the way down we're just doing the roots alone um i did however got some dye on the hair on the lace a little bit in the front but um i ended up it ended up working out like the install it didn't make a difference with the install i just tinted the lace and it didn't really show but i did get it on the lace you want to be very careful because you don't want any dye at all on your lace i should have sprayed the roots um with some got to be spray but i was being lazy and i didn't want to do that but you can spray the roots um with some got to be spray that way it will not um go on the the lace um but yeah this is what i did i went in on the roots and then i went in with the foil paper to kind of make sure it does not go on the corresponding hair or mess up the parts that i do not want to be dyed dark so yeah that's it for the roots So that's the color that I got from the um, texture and tone, or te yeah, texture and tone um, 6G light honey brown. The link would be in the description box. Now for the highlights and low lights on this hair. Well, pretty much low lights because it's already a blonde. But honestly, guys, I don't know what I was doing, but this color is called the Sienna Brown. Um, and I went in with some conditioner and I diluted the dye. Now, it came out a color that I did not want because I was trying to get an orangey type of honey, blonde um, type of vibe going. But instead, it kind of came out as like a, a diluted burgundy color, which... 
after i started going in i realized that the color it was giving and i had spent almost 200 dollars on hair dyes and i did not want to go get a next dye so i was like you know what this is the dye that i'll be working it with regardless um but the colors that i went in with was the sienna brown from adore and i diluted that with some conditioner and right now i am toning the hair to a darkish brown um but more like a creamish darkish brown almost like a nude brown not really a dark dark brown more like a nude brown and this i went in with the 8n and 7n toners so i went in with 8n and 7n and i mixed them both with a 30 volume developer and you know you do the ratio it the instruction is on the box for all of the toners so it shows you how to um the ratio to the toner and the volume developer that you need so what i did was i did the is i don't know it's the bob bob and weave method whatever that method is called where you take a little piece then you leave piece take piece leave piece take piece leave piece take piece so what i did every other section i would put the sienna brown on one row and then the next section i would put the toners which is the 8n and the 7n so every other section that's what i did um but when i got to the middle part area closer to the top part i did not want too much of the adore sienna brown so i kind of went in with a full row with just or i think two full rows with just the toners because i wanted more of the toner look than the actual um sienna brown burgundy ish type of look that it was giving me i did not want that so even though when i started out i do i did like every other row with the sienna brown then the toners and the sienna brown and the toners and the sienna brown and the toners i did not want too much of the sienna brown so i went in mostly with the toners and what i did also to not make too much of the sienna brown showed i when i was doing um the rows with the sienna brown i did smaller pieces as opposed to the um the toners i did bigger pieces but because i didn't want too much of the sienna brown i went in with smaller sections i'm just gonna let you guys watch as i do with this part to show you how the sienna brown look on the hair and then i'll speed it up for time purposes because for time purpose i don't know why i said purposes but for time purpose because this video was literally almost three hours long um and i'm trying to cut it down as much as i can because the install of the hair is also in this video so yeah i'm gonna let you guys watch all of that So for the front part, I did like every other section. So I parted out the front part as almost like how you would like highlight 1B here or you want the front parts to be lighter. So you do the front part first. Um, so that's what I basically did. I just pulled the front part out because I wanted that color that it had right now. I wanted that color for the forefront. But then I went in like every other section and then... When I'm doing every other section, I'll do one section with the regular color of the hair, then the next section with the toner, then the next section with the CN brown. So every other section, I did the same bob, bob and weave method. Um, and like the section that comes right after the front part, I'll put the toner, then I'll leave the section which with this color and then after i put the cn brown then i'll go back in with the regular hair color then the next one will be the toner then the next one the regular hair color then the next one the cn brown um so that's what i did i don't know if i explained it properly but that's maybe you guys will the video will be more informative than i am so yeah i'm gonna let you guys um continue watching as you see what i am doing
So after adding some mousse to the front part of the hair, I went in and I parted, a, parted out a section because I will be going in and I'll be plucking the hair a little bit more. Now I don't want to start plucking from the forefront of the hair, so that's why I'm taking out a small section and then I'm going to be going in with my hot comb to further um, lay the hair down flat and then I am going to be going in with my tweezer and I will be tweezing the hair. Um, if you guys want a more in-depth um, frontal plucking then I will do an updated video. I do have a video of me doing like plucking but I can do an updated version if you guys want because I know it's been a while since I've done one but yeah that's what I'm basically doing. I'm just making sure that all the hair that's not supposed to be plucked is out the way. Um, I'm making sure that the front part of the hair is laid flat so I can see exactly where it needs more plucking, where I should leave and all of that. So that's basically what I'm doing right now. So now that the hair is all plucked, I'm going in with my wax and I am just using that to mold the front part of the hair um, and then I'm going in with my hot comb to further mold the hair down. Also guys, I will be curling this hair. I am not a professional curler. I can't curl to save my life. So don't come for me if I'm not curling it properly or if I'm not setting the curling iron properly or whatever. But basically what I did was I parted out the frontal. So took away the frontal out of the back part because I wanted to cut the back part the back part in a different direction um, than I was going to curl the frontal so what I'm doing is spraying my beyond the zone heat protectant spray on the hair and then I'm going in with the curling wand or not curling wand, but the curling iron I think this is a one inch curling iron and that's what I'm doing um, that's how I'm curling the hair and then after curling it I will be going in with my pin to pin it up um, also, I did the back section in this direction, but after I got to the top part, I realized that I should have been curling them under and not like flipped up. So the back part was curled differently from the front part, but it was after I realized that I should not curl it like that. Um, but I did went in and switch the directions of the curling at the top part. I allowed the back part because I couldn't be bothered going in to curl it again. So yeah, that's what I did, pretty much. So just to show you guys like how I curl the front part, the direction that I curl the front part in is I go downwards with it. So instead of going to the sides, I do it um, downwards, but you'll see the direction that I'm saying like, so downwards instead of like turning the iron sideways. Um, but that's what I basically did for this curling, the curling of this hair. And I pinned it up and I tried to make sure that both sides have the same amount of curls. So I did four on this side and made sure that it was four on the next side as well.
hair is sponsored by papaya's hair so they sent me three bundles of 18 inches the frontal is from myself so it's from hair sensation this is a transparent lace and i did get it in i think i got it in a did i use an 18 or a 16 i don't remember i think it's 16 inch that i used for the front yeah so they sent me three bun three bundles of 18 inch and I used a 16 inch transparent frontal on the front of the um, wig and I made it into a wig by myself um, but this is how the package is looking and this is what they sent me the hair, um, the bundles and they sent me this card which is pretty much their you know their info information card so affiliate program um their whatsapp their um their website yeah 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 okay so so this is how the wig is looking you see it has little black um spots in it but we'll fix it um actually i must spray it first with my even tinted lace spray in the color light warm brown so i must spray the lace and then after spraying the lace, I'm gonna pop it on my head. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna spray the lace right now. guys i will be using the got to be spray and that's all i use for this install just the got to be spray and for the baby hairs i use my mousse and a little bit of my got to be gel and that is how i pretty much did the installation of this hair <laughs>
are what um I, I got and like this is what I got guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video and do not forget to subscribe to my channel hit that notification bell so you are notified whenever I post and make sure to leave all your comments down below let me know if you guys um enjoy this look like do you think my curls can go on like do you think it the curls are like okay or do you think i should um i need to fix up but i personally think i need to fix up so if any of you guys agree with me it's not a problem because i honestly think i need to fix up on the curling but you know for now my, I, for now well, well, well I, we can't do anything than just make it one. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, this is the final look once more. Thank you guys for watching. And I will definitely see you guys in my next one. Show your little body, 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 body,